<laughs> I've always been a huge fan of role playing games of any variety, but when Japanese role playing games took a turn for the worst, I definitely began focusing on the West. I loved the first Fable game and Morrowind, and that really set me on a lifelong quest for some awesome role playing games. We don't really need to reiterate just exactly how successful the Elder Scrolls franchise is, namely Skyrim, but those games just don't give me the same feeling that I get from computer role playing games. I had played Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2 as well as the Knights of the Old Republic games on computers and I really loved them. But it wasn't until I played Fallout 3 where I realized that I just don't like those styles of role playing games as much. I'll just come out and say it, I'm not a big fan of Fallout 3 or New Vegas. I love the Elder Scrolls, but something about those two games just was unappealing and flat out boring to me. At first I thought it was the open, uninviting setting of the Fallout universe that I disliked, but it turned out I was wrong. In April 2012, Good Old Games was giving away the original Fallout for free. Even though I wasn't that into the series, I figured I'd pick it up. Why not? It's free. After two long sittings with the game, I had a newfound love for the franchise. I immediately fell in love with it and bought Fallout 2 and beat it right after. After doing some research, I'd found some information about the Fallout 3 that could have been, codenamed Van Buren, being developed by Blackout Studios before they closed in December 2003. It was real early and rough, but it really tore me up inside that it was a genre of game that would likely never be touched by the new Fallout developers at Bethesda. I kinda just figured that open world isometric computer role playing games were just gone for good. And once again, I was completely wrong. Computer role playing games are back with a vengeance. For almost 15 years it hasn't been as good a time to be a CRPG gamer. I initially learned this by finding the Kickstarter for Wasteland 2. The original Wasteland came out in 1988 and is actually the spiritual predecessor to the Fallout franchise. Some of the people who worked on those games have gone on and formed their own studio in Exile Entertainment that's been around for a while but now they're back to bring us the next great CRPG. Well, that was the first and last time I've ever backed a Kickstarter and it was actually only a week after I played both Fallout 1 and 2. Over two years later, Wasteland 2 is still in development, but it's targeting an August 2nd release. Now, normally this kind of stuff would piss me off, but luckily Brian Fargo and the In Exile team stirred up enough shit that now we've got a whole mess of CRPGs coming out. Since Wasteland 2's success, we've seen multiple Kickstarter games of the genre released. Heavy hitters like Shadowrun Returns and Divinity Original Sin were Kickstarter successes. But there's some other games like the new Jagged Alliance flashback, and then there's some other stinkers like Omerta City of Gangsters. But, if you dig a little deeper, you're definitely going to find a lot more that are all relatively new. So, now I'm in here pretty deep. I've got a few hours into Divinity Original Sin and I'm loving it. In another month I'll be playing this shit out of Wasteland 2 after waiting patiently for two years. And yeah, I know, it's an early access, I already paid for it, I get it. But I'd rather just wait and play the finished product. I've completely fallen in love with computer role playing games. Digging into its past and playing classics and looking forward to what the future has in store. And all this is attributed to the fact that I thought Fallout 3 sucked and good old games offered a chance to redeem the franchise. And yeah, I still don't like Fallout 3, but I'll probably play Fallout 4 just because the original is the sole reason I've remained passionate about the entire genre. So don't worry Fallout 3, your dad bailed you out this time, but next time you're gonna have to step it up. And I hope you do, because I could use another great Fallout game. Even though it's not likely the game I want it to be, I'll hold out hope anyway. If this video is any indication, I don't mind being proven wrong every once in a while. And besides, even if it does suck like Fallout 3, it's never been a better time to be a CRPG gamer. I've been Mike Fire. see you next time.